So hey guys, I'm back with another video. So tonight's video is yet again another Chama Chats video podcast edition. So by the title, we're going to be talking about people getting BBLs and going from a BBL bought body to a fitness instructor or trainer. So I came across this post on Instagram from one of my college friends. His Instagram page is at I am the culture and that is Q-U-E. And he's actually a party host based in ATL and I know him from college. If you're in ATL or going to be, definitely follow his Instagram page for the situations. So I love when I randomly come across these types of posts on Instagram or Facebook and it sparks a whole conversation. Those are literally always my best videos. So Q's post reads, the woman out here in the world who get their bodies, chest, booty, surgically repaired and then become fitness trainers, meal nutritionists, and then charge people money to get your fitness results that you didn't even obtain the way you're trying to sell it. You're cut from a different cloth. And period. Like y'all heard Q? He said a word. Now I thought this was a little bit comical. I definitely see this a lot on Instagram and it's actually way more detrimental than people give credit to. Now let's just address what some people are going to say. Oh Chama you're so obsessed with this BBL topic. Can you talk about something else? Sweetie you can go somewhere else okay. I don't give a damn. You clicked on my video so either shut up and listen or click off. Those are your two options okay. Somehow y'all complain but still click every time. Now back to our regularly scheduled program. I definitely think this post is true. I mean how many known influencers have we seen get their bodies done whether we knew about it before we started following them or after and then promote fitness and meal plans and try to make money off of it. This is definitely a mini pandemic on its own. So let's talk about it. Let's wake it up. So I've broken this video down into two main talking points. So let's get right into this video. So point number one is why are they doing this? So I asked this question because it's really the only question you can ask. Why would somebody pay for surgical enhancements of any sort, spend tons of money doing cosmetic corrections, and then tell people that they were in the gym, working out, and doing all of these different dietary actions just to make money? Why bamboozle people to make it seem like it's all natural when it's not? It literally sounds illegal and I'm pretty sure somewhere deep down inside it might be. And the only answer I can give to that question is because a lot of people see surgery as a taboo. Body enhancements used to be something that people did not talk about as openly. People only knew it if you were a dancer in a club or a Hollywood secret. It was more of a hush-hush topic. But nowadays people are really open about surgical enhancements. They have become really popular and very obvious. Even the best BBLs somebody like me can tell because it just has a certain look and a certain shape. You don't just get hips and people say you can't grow hips in the gym. Probably not, but you can definitely gain the muscle around it and that's all that matters anyway. What makes your hips poke out like that is having the muscle that actually sits firm on the hips. So now that people are starting to tell that somebody got their body done, it has definitely lost its luxury appeal. Some people want to be able to camouflage getting their bodies done by saying they work hard for it in the gym, but unfortunately people are just way too smart now Nowadays. There are so many certified personal trainers, doctors, and health experts that can tell you that certain things are impossible through the gym and only possible through surgical enhancements. We just aren't that stupid anymore. So some women and men, we can't leave them out, find it better to get in the gym to maintain the body that they paid for because technically it is an investment. This way they don't lose out on all of the money they spent and the pain that they went through to achieve that body through surgery. But if we're being real, going to the gym also hurts. I mean, doing exercises is not easy easy and the pain your body feels after you lift heavy or work out hard it hurts too. My body is still sore from the gym three days ago. So referencing stories from all of my friends who have gotten BBLs or any type of enhancement they all have garments that they have to wear to maintain that shape after surgery and you have to wear it for a long time. It's almost like getting braces and having to wear your retainer for a while to keep everything in place. So another way to do that is going to the gym and really working those muscles and keeping everything lifted and being physically active to maintain the enhancement. But I think the sketchy side to doing this is using fitness for profit off of the fake reality of what someone got through surgery. I will give credit to getting in the gym after you get a BBL or whatever because you should be physically active as an individual with or without surgery. But spending all of that money in your body and then letting yourself go by not being physically active is actually very stupid. So if you get a BBL, don't just think that you just got one and that's it. You have to work out. You have to eat healthy. You have to maintain it. So as much as people like to say that getting a BBL is the easiest way out and getting the shape that you want. Yes, but actually maintaining it? No, you still have to put in the work. Going to the gym is a consistent journey and you don't see results in just a week or two. You see results the more and more you go and it actually becomes addicting once you see your body change just a little bit. And I think I'm at that point. If I don't go to the gym for at least three or four times a week, I feel very bad. But my body has really changed and transformed. So it's like I got to a certain level and I want to keep going to see what else I can do with my body. But like I said, trying to get a bag off of your surgery 
by promoting fitness as if that's the way how you got your body is definitely shameful, disingenuous, and definitely giving scammer. Something about it just screams scammer to me, but people fall for it all the time. And it's kind of hard to tell who has their body done and who doesn't when you just don't know. Some people get work that looks so natural, but they're in the gym deadlifting hundreds of pounds, and that's motivating people to purchase a workout plan from them when in reality, you should be purchasing Dr. Miami. So another answer to why this may be happening is some people are just downright money hungry. I don't know if y'all have noticed, but fitness has really become a big thing over the past few years. Everybody's becoming a certified personal trainer. Everybody is wearing waist trainers and sweatbands. Everybody is buying coochie cutter leggings to go to the gym and take pictures and do squat videos. And fitness is another industry that has seen a big rise because quarantine made a lot of us big as hell, okay? I feel like I was the only person that lost weight in quarantine, but I've gained my weight back through dieting, exercise, and just really wanting to be the stallion that I know I am. And so because people are so money hungry and see this as a quick grab, as long as you can give out the aesthetic that your body is socially ideal, you can capitalize off of that in many ways. So not just from being an Instagram influencer and getting Fashion Nova deals, but also from being a fitness guru as well. So it does go past the being someone with big boobs and a little waist and a big butt and attracting a certain type of audience and attention. It can also be the things that people see as healthy being misconstrued because people will find a way to capitalize off of their looks regardless. You have to vet out these social media fitness people because just as much as I say you don't need a BBL to be successful on social media, you damn sure don't need a fitness trainer from the internet to be successful in your body goals either. My fitness trainer is my manager because he can do both. So he gave me the basics and the inside scoop on how to sculpt my body the way that I want. And even when I'm not working out with him, I'll still call and ask him different things I should do to get where I want to be. But I've learned a lot just from going to the gym and watching other people. I'm still independent and going to the gym, having that discipline, eating certain things, and also exercising in a way that gets me the body and the results that I want. And you can too. You don't need to buy anybody's fitness plan or do virtual training to get the body that you want whatsoever. But it's always good to support the people who are genuine and doing this through the lens of integrity and that are actually certified. Now, point number two is the effects of people doing this and how bad it can really get. So, I mean, for obvious reasons, getting a BBL or some type of enhancement and then considering yourself a fitness trainer or into fitness and trying to make money off of that is just downright messed up because now you have an audience of young women believing that all they have to do is put their money into whatever you're telling them to achieve something that you achieve through surgery. So now their mental health is affected because they're spending money, which is something that every human has an attachment to and hoping for the results that you have that you paid for. And then when those results don't happen because they've been drinking the teas or doing a thousand lunges or they went and bought all of those cute workout sets and waist trainers and they're still the same size and shape that they were at the beginning, they're disappointed. So the effect is negative because not only are we disappointing people and low-key scamming them, but we're messing with the mental because people now believe that they can't achieve what they really want. And everybody's body is different. You can go to the gym and do as many sumo squats as you want and may not ever have a big juicy butt. But when you are blinded by seeing a BBL, no pun intended, you visualize that as your end goal and you never get it. So now we have young women upset, disappointed, and even more depressed because they think their body can't change the way that you try to sell them, even though they try to go about it the right way or just without surgery. I think it's actually very sick that somebody would do this. There has to be a way that this is a lawsuit. Like there just has to be a way that selling your audience the idea of a figure eight body, knowing that you paid for yours is illegal. I don't know if we have any attorneys in the chat tonight, but somebody please tell me if it is because I have a whole list of people that can go down tonight. But furthermore, we're allowing another detrimental yet societal phenomenon to exponentially get worse. BBL culture is already something that negatively affects so many young women all over the world. But when people say that going to the gym is the alternative to BBLs and you have people mixing the two, that's like double whammy. And I would hate for the fitness industry to be clouded by people who pay for their bodies and take illegal steroids and things like that. And then they overshadow and possibly run the real fitness trainers out of business. And I can see that happening if we continue to allow people to get away with this and allow young women to believe everything they see on social media. We have to be very cautious by the things that we choose to support when it comes to our physical appearance because you only get one body, one mental, and you don't want to damage either one striving for a false perfection. So that is it for this video. I hope you all enjoyed. Please leave your commentary on my commentary down below. Please stream my new song, Ballin'. It is out on all platforms. I will link the video and the streaming link down below in the comment section as well. And don't forget to follow me on all of my social media networks and I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys. They dread me so I'm locked and they never catch me laughing
Jackson, taking over hacking. He hooked, I'm the captain, my pockets on my basket. You bitches got a dollar in your pocket and some chapstick. Hi, on the ranks, but you know I stay so early. These bitches shook scary last day of October. Last nigga thought I was kidding, but it's no cap. He wishing it was Thursday, cause now he wanna throw back. And if you want smoke, where your dope bad? And if you think you're running me too, give me four laps. Price going up, pay up, this ain't rollback. They call me Queen Chama Trigger, but baby boy, you know.